What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week five of the GBA season four against the New Orleans Pelippers and Coach John, aka Pokemons. We're going to get into this right now. He has challenged me to a custom match. Uh, I am <laughs> ready and terrified, and here we go. Accepting the battle now. Let's see who we brought. Please, no Entei. He didn't bring- he didn't bring Entei, yes, okay. He did bring Kyurum, I thought he was gonna bring Kyurum. This is the exact team I thought he would bring, actually. Um, with the only one being that I was curious about whether or not he would bring Uxi over Empoleon. Uh, potential lead options here. He could lead... Here are potential rockers. Uh, just one of those. This guy and this guy are potential rockers. Um... This is a potential lead for momentum to kind of scout me out. He could just try and punch a hole right away. He could lead with this for the immediate mega. I am going to lead with Skulliver because that is what I decided I was going to do. I'm potentially regretting that I didn't bring a Focus Sash. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I have the weakness policy on him, not the Focus Sash. That was a mistake. That was an immediate mistake. We just gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. I'm gonna hit Skulliver, and we're gonna lead from there. Uh, normally, I don't lead with Pokemon like this. He's gonna lead with Pinhead. So, uh, I'm gonna go for the first turn Swords Dance, predicting... You know what? He might have Roar. Possible that he has Roar, uh, but let's go for the Swords Dance anyway. Let's see what he's got. He's gonna go for the Scald outright. Uh, he does not get the Burn. He's... Yeah, it's not safe to go for another one, so I'm going to go for the Protect here, as he's likely going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Um, if he does, good move on his part. I could have Protected first turn, but I didn't want to out of risk, fear of that. He is going to go for the Roar, and he's going to get me out. So, there you go. Did my best, guys, but uh, here we go. He could go for another Roar here. Um, he could go for the Burn. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Potential switch-ins for him. Could have the Intimidate Crocodile. He could have the Venusaur. Uh, if Venusaur switches in, an Earthquake followed by a Bounce might do a good number to him. So let's go for the Earthquake here. I'm going to get it and get 50%. He's going to go for the Stealth Rock. I think he was predicting me to uh, go for a Dragon Dance there. But I'm going for two Earthquakes. I'm going to go for another one. He's got the Rocks up. Uh, he's going to switch in to Warren Sap the Venusaur and take 71% from that. Now is the time, guys. Part of me is considering whether or not I want to go outright for a Dragon Dance here just to ensure the bounce kills, because he might scout for the bounce. But you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Power Herb Bounce. <sighs> don't switch. Please don't switch. I'll be so sad if he switches. <sighs> He's thinking. He's going to Mega. I'm going to Bounce. <sighs> He's defensive. He goes for the Toxic. Shoot. That Earthquake did 29.9% before. I don't know that it's going to do that much this time. Toxic's definitely going to start racking up. Yeah, I was worried about the Roar, um, potentially, on a couple of different Pokemon on his team. But, you know what? we got to make do with it now. Uh, we're going to go for... We're going to go for Earthquake here, because nothing really wants it. Warren Sap has a chance to get a recover off later, but I'm not going to give him that option right now. I'm going straight away for the Earthquake. Let's see what he's going to go for. I'm going to take out Warren Sap, and I get the Moxie boost. Okay, baby, things are looking up, maybe. He's going to come in with Raikou here. He is going to come in with Raikou. I should have gone... If I'd gone for the uh, Dragon Dance, followed by the Bounce, I would have been in a really good spot, but I think he... That might have been a little too obvious. Um, Raikou. JJ what? Almost certainly can outspeed me, and unfortunately I really just do not have a safe switch in. There's no one here that wants to take anything from JJ Watt. He's got Fusion Bolt. Uh, I could go straight into Ultron if I want to take that. Can I survive anything else from this guy? Let's see. Let's do it real quick. Uh, Gyara, you're an offensive Dragon Dance set. Sure, we'll leave that the way it is. 
fusion bolt from a Caillou Room B is obviously going to just absolutely annihilate me. Outrage is also going to do that though. Outrage will also. You know what? <laughs> I think he's just gonna outrage no matter what. So let's assess what my team needs and can use. What can I do here? Can Proto take either of those things? Scizor. Can Scizor take... He can... The only thing Scizor can't take is an HP Fire. That's the only thing he can't take. Now, Gyarados has done pretty much what I wanted him to do. Done what I wanted him to do in that he killed Mega Venusaur. But JJ Watt can just do so much damage to anything. If I lose Scizor, I really actually don't know how I kill JJ Watt. So it's how big of a play is he going to make right now? Is he going for that Hidden Power Fire? Because GLaDOS will survive that. If he's not, Ultron could come in. We don't know his set, we don't know his item. We don't know anything. He could be choice. He could be expert belt. He's looking at a GLaDOS right now who he knows he outspeeds at plus one, plus one attack. And he has stealth rocks up. Um, Ultron, I want him. I don't need him, but I want Ultron. This is fucking terrifying right now. Uh, I'm gonna predict he doesn't go for the, but then what will I do with Scizor once I'm in? Just bullet punch once, he's just gonna take it with Raikou. Uh, I'm gonna stay in with GLaDOS. And uh, I'm gonna go for Plus one Earth. I'm taking way too long, and ordinarily this would not be okay. You know what? Actually, I don't have anything really for this guy. Let's hit that Earthquake. See if he goes for the Fusion Bolt. He goes for a Substitute, predicting the switch. I go for the Earthquake. Okay, so we know that he's Leftovers set. We know that he's Leftovers. He might go for it again. Toxic's wrapping, racking up. I can't let this guy sweep my entire team. Uh, he's got to kill me right now. There's the fusion bolt. I just I can't let him sweep my entire team like that. That's not acceptable. Um, we're gonna go into proto here. Threat is on the field. I don't fuck with you. Threat is on the field. Raikou comes in. I can switch into bunny soar. Could you turn for momentum? Again, though, this is my answer to JJ Watt. Bullet punch. He's got to switch. He's got to switch. He resists that. Uh, he's going to go for a Scald here. Bunny Sore comes in. He could double switch here. That'd be a big play on his part. He's going to go for the Roar. That's not bad. Protect, see if he goes for the roar or not. If he doesn't go for the roar, then... Yeah, he's gonna go for the skull to try and get that kill. Now he's gonna go for the roar, probably. As I'm gonna just try and get a little bit... I know it's resisted, I know it's gonna do next to nothing, but he's going for the roar here, so that's okay. Scizor comes in. I mean, I'm very low speed, but I predict he's lower. And... Very few things on this team want to take a superpower with the exception of Sylveon. He could go for the Sylveon prediction, and I think he... That's a ballsy move he does, but I'm going to go for superpower here. He's going to sacrifice the pinhead. Now that I'm locked into this, um, 
he can come back in with Kyurem B. And that's a problem. And I will have to sacrifice someone, and it will be Scallopede, and once again, Scallopede will have failed to Baton Pass. And that's okay. That is A-OK -okay with me. So, we're sitting at 4 to 5. I predict Kyurem B, he's really saving that Raikou, which leads me to believe he's waiting for specific threats to be off the field. It's probably... It's probably choice, given the way he's sitting on it. It's probably choice. Proto nets a kill, Gyarados nets a kill. We know that because we have a Leftovers, potentially bulky variant of Kyurem Black on the field, that we will outspeed it with Fox. We know that we will. John is such an intimidating opponent. Definitely playing the Hazards game. I think he's trying to get... I don't know if this is true or not. I think he's trying to get Moltres in here. Um, he's thinking hard about this. The thing is, if JJ Watt... Here it comes. If JJ Watt gets that substitute off, I am so... So done. He does not have... So he has sub, and he has fusion bolt. He's gotta have a dragon type attack. I don't have a lot of speed investment, so there's no way I'm not speeding him. He could have HP fire, but he could be packing HP grass. He's only got one other attack. He's got to have Dragon Stab. If he doesn't have Dragon Stab, that's ridiculous. I don't have a Fairy on my team. It doesn't make sense. But what's his last move? It could be Ice Stab? I don't think he has HP Fire, and if he doesn't, I don't see him killing me because I've done all these calcs with Life Orb. This is where I have to start making risky plays. Because I'm not sure what I'll do. I literally don't know how I kill this if he gets a substitute up. With Gyarados down, I could hurt him with Swampert but not kill him. It would take multiple of my Pokemon away. Proto can survive a Dragon type attack. Oh shoot, I'm minus one defense. Oh no. Gulliver can survive rocks. Go for one bug type attack and hope for the best. Let's do it. This is tough. I think he's going to go for the sub. I die to rocks and he goes for hidden power. Revealing the HP fire. So we know he doesn't have HP grass. He's up to almost full health again. Scizor can come back in and scare him out with another bullet punch. But now I'm thinking he might survive it. 94, he's not at full HP. How defensive would he have to be? If he's running 252 defense and 252 HP, a bullet punch is not going to kill him. Which he could be. He could be all of those things. But, Fox is uh, not seeing a whole lot of other opportunities to do a lot here. And I know I'll outspeed, so I could outspeed Willow. So why not? Let's bring in Fox. <laughs> Let's bring in Fox, whose dying move is going to be to hope that I land a Will-O-Wisp against J.J. Watt. Here it goes. <laughs> Here it goes, guys. Choice Scarfed Will-O-Wisp from a Fox. This will negate his leftovers. It will allow me to survive a lot of attacks with... Um... Actually, if I get this off, I can set up for a potential mini sweep in other areas. I think... Given that he has hidden power, mixed set, potentially defensive. 
He's probably running a calc right now to see in what world I kill him. He switches out into Blitzkrieg as I go for the Willow. Uh, now I'm going to switch into Bunny Soar here. It's very likely he has Hidden Power Ice. Incredibly likely. Incredibly likely. I could also switch into Ultron. Ooh, here we go. Hidden Power... Does he predict the HP grass from the outright? Good time to scout whether or not, like, what he is, you know? Um, Bunny Soar would eat up a Volt Switch. However, would almost immediately be o code by either, by the Kyrum B as he comes in and goes for a Dragon-type stab. I could switch into Proto. Whole lot of me whole mess of shit to go on there, but Fox can still do something here. I'm going to switch into Ultron. If he predicts that and goes for the HP grass, that's just incredible on his part. Let's see what he does. Aura Sphere. That's a safe pick. That is a safe play on his part. We're going to get the Mega Evolution off. And um, Earthquake would do a lot to... Do a lot to a lot of stuff. I'll get outsped by just about anything else, including this Blitzkrieg. We're going to see... Oh, let's check this damage. 25.9% to a non-Mega Swampert. And this Raikou at level 50 hit me with an Aura Sphere for 25%. So definitely not an attacking item. Could have a Scarf. He went for an, a Fighting Stab there, probably because it's the only thing that consistently hit like anyone on the team. I gotta go for Earthquake here. Still learning this whole uh, Pokemon Showdown thing. I haven't done it in a long, long time. He stays in. He goes for another Aura Sphere, and I go for the Earthquake. Not over predicting, and Blitzkrieg goes down. Okay. Still a little worried about this Choice Scarfed potential. I mean, he's run Choice Scarf on his Crocodile a few times. Choice Scarf Crocodile is problematic because it will outspeed a Choice Scarf Moltres. I think Kyurum B can come back in here. This Kyurum B, every time it hits the field, just takes out another Pokemon with it. We're down to a situation where no matter what I do, I need to keep Scizor alive to take on Kyurum B and... Oh, the Puh! So I'm sure that what he's just done is calc to see whether or not he kills Mega Swampert at my remaining HP. He's got to have done that. Hyper Voice will not do 48% barring some ridiculous situation. So how much will I hit it for? Because here's, here's my thought process here, guys. Sylveon... Sylveon has less speed than me, could have speed investment, but I'm probably getting two attacks off if I survived this. And two Earthquakes will actually kill it. Now, he could go for a Roar. He probably has Hidden Power Grass, actually, now that I think about it. But if he does, that means he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. He could start trying to set up Calm Mines. I'm going to go for Earthquake. We'll see whether or not he's offensive. Wow, that did a lot. He's offensive. There's the Hyper Voice, and I live at one. Oh my god. Oh my word, no, 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 no. How much HP left? Literally one, literally one HP left. John, John, John. I need to know your set, brother. I need to know whether or not that was a low roll. Whether or not that was a guarantee that you thought you had against, oh my goodness, I'm so, so sorry about that. Okay, uh, maybe, oh, you know what? He might have quick attack. He might have quick attack. This could be a moot point. <laughs> but I don't have a choice. One HP. I can't switch out. Uh, I go for the Earthquake. The Pug goes down. Wow, he went offensive set. He went offensive set. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe I just... Uh, you know, I do all these calcs assuming worst case scenario. So I actually calc anything that's potentially a wall with max defenses in both. Just to make sure that I'm never overestimating. But wow, I can't believe that turn of events.
Okay. Okay, we're down to the last two. Down to the last two, including some terrifying, terrifying Pokemon. He's still got that Crocodile. So, I think... What has to happen now, Ultron will go down to either of these Pokemon. I can't outspeed either. I go down to either of these. If Crocodile comes in, I think Gudra might need to be the one that tries to kill it, but I can't survive. Oh, that's problematic, actually. That's problematic. Um, I don't think any of my remaining Pokemon can one-hit KO. I need, I need a mixture of speed options here to try and kill this thing. If it's Choice Scarfed, I really am in trouble. Moltres against a defensive variant can only hit for 189 to 105%. It's not a guaranteed one hit. No, I did those calcs with specs. I'm no longer specs. Um, I could... There's Ray Lewis. Intimidate set. He could maybe opt to try and go for a setup here. I mean, I gotta do as much damage as I can with Waterfall. I obviously cannot switch out. He goes for the knockoff and takes me out. Is he locked into knockoff? Ray Lewis. The Crocodile. Gudra, what do you got for me, buddy? We didn't see an attacking item. It's possible he's choice banded. I really doubt it. Knockoff shouldn't kill me. I'm at 87%. I'll take an additional 12. I should still be at a high enough to live it. I've got Ice Beam on there, but I've also got Draco Meteor, which is probably the better option. Draco Meteor would hit for more. I'm only going to get one attack off with this guy. Draco Meteor has a chance to miss. I just need him in Bullet Punch Kill range by Proto. Because Proto's got to come in after this. Bunny Soar? <coughs> You've got to live this. And there's a chance that you won't if he goes for... No, there's actually... No, I think I got this. I think I survived. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go for the Ice Beam. Go for the knockoff. I live. Go for the Ice Beam. It's super effective. Does a lot. Uh, I go down here, but he's in Proto Kill range. He's definitely scarfed at this point, I can tell. Proto comes in. Bullet Punch. Finishes off Ray Lewis. No, he's going to switch out. No, he can't switch out. He's not going to switch out. He's not going to switch out. Ray Lewis goes down. Can I kill? I don't think I'll kill this guy, but I can come in with a 1 HP. Oh my goodness. I come in with a 1 HP Fox. Oh wow, that killed! <laughs> I just beat the developers. Holy shit. Oh my word, I cannot believe it. Guys, this is a man I have looked up to for seasons. My word, and he's talking to me on chat. I gotta talk to him, I gotta talk to him on chat. Guys, please go check out John. He is the reason I'm here in the GBA today. He's been such a good friend to me this whole time. He's been super understanding with my schedule, waiting till we're having this battle on Saturday. It goes up tomorrow, guys, can you believe it? I cannot believe this fight went the way it did. I'm so, so happy. Oh my word. Oh my word. So happy. Guys, please show the GBA some love. Go check out the official WordPress site. Follow them on Twitter and check them out on their official YouTube. Hit that subscribe button for me or for them or for John, my lovely team, my lovely opponent here today. Oh my word. I'm so happy with how this turned out. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.